Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions related to general ledger accounting FIGL. In SAP FICO interviews, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. What is general ledger accounting in SAP FICO? Answer. General ledger accounting is the core module in SAP FICO that manages the company's financial records. It provides a centralized view of financial transactions and supports accurate financial reporting. 2. Explain the concept of a chart of accounts COA in SAP General Ledger. Answer. The chart of accounts is a list of all gram per liter accounts used by a company. It defines the structure and grouping of accounts based on their characteristics, facilitating financial statement preparation. 3. How can you create a gram per liter account in SAP FICO? Answer. Gram per liter accounts are created using transaction code, FSOO. You specify details such as gram per liter, account number, description, account group, and other parameters to define the account. 4. What is the purpose of the reconciliation account in SAP General Ledger? Answer. The reconciliation account is a gram per liter account that consolidates sub-ledger transactions. It serves as a link between sub-ledgers like accounts receivable or accounts payable and the general ledger. 5. Explain the significance of the document splitting feature in SAP General Ledger. Answer. Document splitting allows the division of line items in a document based on specified characteristics. It enhances reporting accuracy by providing detailed insights into financial transactions. 6. How can you manage foreign currency transactions in SAP General Ledger? Answer. Foreign currency transactions are managed using transaction codes, like F50 for manual postings and F02 for general ledger postings. The system handles currency conversions based on predefined exchange rates. 7. What is the purpose of the special periods in SAP general ledger? Answer. Special periods allow for additional time for financial closings beyond the regular fiscal year. They are typically used for adjustments or late postings after the standard closing periods. 8. Explain the significance of the document type in SAP General Ledger Accounting. Answer. The document type categorizes accounting transactions, such as standard postings, customer invoices, or vendor invoices. It influences document processing and helps in financial reporting. 9. How can you perform a document reversal in SAP General Ledger? Answer. Document reversals are done using transaction code F08. You enter the original document number and specify the reversal reason, effectively undoing the original posting. 10. What is the purpose of the field status group in SAP General Ledger Master Data? Answer. The field status group controls the status of fields in gram per liter master records. It determines whether a field is mandatory, optional, or suppressed during data entry. 11. Explain the difference between recurring entries and sample document entries in SAP FICO. Answer. Recurring entries are periodic postings for fixed amounts, while sample document entries are templates used for frequent but irregular transactions. Both streamline repetitive data entry. 12. How does SAP handle the integration of General Ledger with other SAP FICO modules? Answer. General Ledger is integrated with submodules like Accounts Payable, Accounts Receivable, and Asset Accounting. It ensures seamless flow of financial transactions and real-time data updates. 13. What is the purpose of the document header text in SAP General Ledger documents? Answer. The document header text allows users to provide additional information or explanations at the document level. It enhances the understanding of financial transactions. 14. How can you configure document splitting in SAP General Ledger Accounting? Answer. Document splitting is configured using transaction code EC01, the SAP IMG. Key steps include defining document splitting characteristics, classifying gram per liter accounts, and activating the feature. 15. Explain the significance of the parked document in SAP General Ledger. Answer. Parked documents are temporary entries saved, but not posted. 
They allow for collaboration and review before final posting, ensuring accuracy and completeness. 16. How can you perform a mass reversal of documents in SAP General Ledger? Answer. Mass reversals are done using transaction code, F80. You specify selection criteria for documents to be reversed and execute the reversal process in bulk. 17. What is the significance of the clearing account in SAP General Ledger? Answer. The clearing account is used to temporarily hold and reconcile offsetting entries. It facilitates the clearing process, ensuring accurate reporting of net balances. 18. Explain the purpose of the retained earnings account in SAP General Ledger. Answer. The retained earnings account accumulates the company's net income, or losses, over time. It is updated during the year-end closing process and carries forward the retained earnings. 19. How can you handle intercompany postings in SAP General Ledger? Answer. Our company postings involve transactions between affiliated entities. They are managed using special indicators in document entry and reconciliation processes. 20. What is the role of the special period 13 in SAP General Ledger? Answer. Special period 13 is often used for adjustments or additional postings after the standard fiscal year-end closing. It provides flexibility for handling late or extraordinary transactions. 21. Explain the significance of the document splitting method in SAP General Ledger. Answer. Document splitting methods determine how line items are split based on defined characteristics. It plays a crucial role in creating a detailed financial statement. 22. How does SAP handle the reversal of accruals in the general ledger? Answer. Accruals are reversed using transaction code F81. The system automatically identifies and reverses open accruals, ensuring accurate accounting for the reversal process. 23. Explain the purpose of the special gram per liter transactions in SAP General Ledger. Answer. Special gram per liter transactions are used for non-standard transactions like down payments or guarantees. They allow for classification and tracking of specific financial transactions. 24. How can you configure document number ranges in SAP General Ledger Accounting? Answer. Document number ranges are configured using transaction code EBN1. You define the number ranges based on document types, ensuring proper sequencing of document numbers. 25. What is the significance of the sort key in SAP General Ledger Master Records? Answer. The sort key determines the sequence in which line items are displayed in reports. It helps in organizing and presenting financial data in a meaningful way. 26. Explain the purpose of the special period 14 in SAP General Ledger. Answer. Special period 14 is used for carrying forward balances from the previous fiscal year to the new fiscal year. It ensures a smooth transition of financial data during the year-end closing. 27. How can you perform a reclassification of gram per liter accounts in SAP General Ledger? Answer. Classifications are done using transaction code FAGL FC Val. You specify the gram per liter accounts, amount, and other parameters to execute the reclassification process. 28. What is the purpose of the field status variant in SAP General Ledger Master Data? Answer. The field status variant controls the status of fields in gram per liter master records. It is assigned to the company code and defines the overall field status for gram per liter accounts. 29. How can you configure the document change rules in SAP General Ledger? Answer. Document change rules are configured using transaction code FBM3. You define rules for controlling document changes, specifying the conditions under which changes are allowed. 30. Explain the significance of the special gram per liter indicator in SAP General Ledger documents. Answer. The special gram per liter indicator is used for special transactions like down payments or guarantees. It helps in classifying and tracking transactions for specific reporting requirements. These questions and answers cover various aspects of general ledger accounting in SAP FICO. 
providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.